When taxiing on the taxiway, the airplane's powerful jet engines waste large amounts of fuel and large amounts of noxious gases, are very noisy, and are open to foreign object damage. Israel Aerospace Industries is introducing TaxiBot for narrow-body and wide-body aircrafts, an innovating taxiing system that brings a practical, simple, and efficient solution to the need for taxiing airplanes with engines stopped. TaxiBot will benefit airlines by significant savings in fuel consumption, reduction of carbon dioxide emissions, reducing foreign object damage-induced costs, and will make airports more economical and environmentally friendly. Taxibotting, taxing with Taxibot is practically transparent to the pilot, replacing the three functions performed by the pilot during regular taxiing. Taxiing is completely driven and controlled by the pilot. Accelerating is performed by the vehicle to a speed defined by the airport runway segments. Steering is performed by the pilot using his tiller via rotatable turret and the vehicle steering controller. Braking is performed by the pilot using his regular pedals and the main landing gear. All these functions are performed while protecting the nose landing gear from exceeding the allowed fatigue loads in real time. TaxiBot's concept principle is to make minimal or no modifications to the airplane. With TaxiBot, operational towing could be authorized. Nose landing gear fatigue analysis conducted by Airbus confirmed that from the nose landing gear point of view, this system is feasible. After disconnecting from the airplane, the taxi bot will return to the gate driven by a safety driver. The taxi bot system successfully completed a taxiing test of a Lufthansa B747-400 commercial aircraft at Frankfurt's International Airport. The overall impression is very good, better than I expected it to be. The steering in wide turns, in sharp turns, was absolutely to my pleasing. The um, longitudinal behavior like uh, accelerating and braking capability was absolutely good. I wouldn't change anything at all. The tests were in extreme weather conditions of snow, ice and temperatures of minus 17 degrees Celsius on December 27, 2010. One big advantage which I just uh, realized today is that when your taxi turns on icy or slippery uh, surfaces, the traction is much better than uh, if uh, you just taxi there by yourself. Because uh, normally you have two tires on the nose gear and the contact uh, area to the ground is much less than uh, with the six wheels of a taxi bot. So you can uh, increase safety in turns uh, on icy or slippery taxiways. This was the second time we tested the taxi bot in the Frankfurt uh, airport. Compared to the first time, we had a major improvement. We had a game programming changed that uh, made it possible to taxi and control the aircraft more likely than an aircraft which is powered by its own engines. So I have the impression that we reached 95% of the characteristics of an aircraft uh, which is uh, under engine power compared now to the taxi bot. From a pilot standpoint, I can say yes, it is doable and it is a good way and a safe way to taxi an aircraft as far as I have experienced it today. The taxi bot system has proven its capability to tow Airbus and Boeing airplanes in different taxiing scenarios and be fully controlled by the pilot from the cockpit while maintaining a defined load envelope on the nose landing gear based on fatigue considerations. Implementing TaxiBot reduces fuel consumption, reduces carbon dioxide emissions, reduces noise, less engine foreign object damage, minimal changes to the airport, no additional weight, and no reduction in the available cargo space. TaxiBot, your efficient, safe, and clean solution for taxiing your airplanes.